Hey YouTube, it's Justin and Chris here with Nerd Games TV. Um, it's been a while. Uh, last few weeks, I've either been sick or the weather hasn't permitted us to walk down to the game shop. Normally, me and Curse like to go every Saturday, but today I had to go. I had to go downtown after school. Um, from in order to graduate in uh, my state, you have to complete a graduation project, and for the graduation project, my school that requires that you either job shadow somebody or you complete 30 hours of community service so I had to talk to somebody at a homeless shelter about volunteering for them but the homeless shelter is right across the street from the game shop and they're open today so I was like eh what the hell I'll go in um, and I picked it and literally uh, last few times we've been Craig's had some good stuff but most of it's just been a lot of bad stuff uh, he's always for the last since probably late November he's been saying that once the new year starts he's gonna start getting in uh, a lot more stuff and I walked back to his little part of the store today. Uh, he wasn't in today. It was just Tony. Uh, me and Tony are literally the only ones in the store today. But um, walked back to his little area, and literally he had amazing an amazing selection of games. Uh, he didn't exactly have a whole lot of N64 games, but he had like a dozen like desirable titles. Um, he also had probably about 36 Game Boy games. Uh, that were just in his like little glass case. He had a box of Game Boy games and stuff uh, sitting on the counter. Um, I went through it. There wasn't anything really good in there, but in his glass case, he had some amazing stuff. Include, I think he had every single Pokemon game released for the Game Boy line, except for Emerald and Ruby and Ruby. But uh, um, I've played all those games before. I own all of them except Sapphire, which was lost. But uh, now to get to what I bought, he, like I said, he had an amazing selection of games today. Picked up five. Um, some of these are actually games I've been looking for for a while. Uh, first one, uh, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening. Uh, I actually think somebody tried to pry this open at one point, but uh, you can mm -hmm. see the stress lines there, and right there looks like where they select the tool in or whatever. Uh, but it's a little dirty too, but. Uh, it's one of the Zelda game, one of the many Zelda games I haven't played. I call myself a Zelda fan, but I actually haven't played most of the franchise. I regret to say that, uh, but I'm working on it. So I picked this up. Uh, that was the only Game Boy game I picked up. He actually had quite a few uh, good N64 titles. Uh, he had Super Smash Brothers there, but for 32 bucks, I just wasn't into it. Um, he also had uh, Mario Kart. 20 bucks, once again, wasn't in it for 20 bucks. Uh, I actually picked up some good ones, though. Uh, he actually had Banjo Kazooie for 12 bucks. Uh, it's pretty dirty, and the label's a little sun faded, but uh, it's. I think this game's what, like 30, 30 40 bucks loose on eBay right now? Uh, so, did pretty well on this. Uh, as far as 64 games, I also picked up Diddy Kong Racing, another rareware game. Um, it's got Banjo and Kazooie and stuff. I think it also has Conker in this one, which is kind of funny because mm -hmm. Conker's like one of the only rare characters that isn't from a shooter. That isn't exactly what you'd call family friendly. Friendly, but um, like I said, I picked this one up for twelve dollars as well. Um, I actually think this one's like twenty twenty five dollars on eBay. So once again, did pretty well. Um. Now, I also picked up a couple Dreamcast games. He did not have a VMU, which a little disappointing. I still need to find one, but um, for these games, I was like, you know what? These games are... He does get these games a lot, so I was like, what the hell? Um, Sonic Adventure. Uh, he's actually started uh, sealing games as he gets them in so that people... Because I guess he might have been having a problem with people like taking manuals of this out of games, so he started, he started sealing them. Uh, actually, when I saw the ceiling, I was like, wait, are those factory sealed? But, um, yeah, I picked this one up. Twelve bucks. Uh, I th these are complete. Um, I also picked up Star Wars Episode One Racer. Um, Our third copy. <laughs> I think this means we have it for every platform it was released for. I don't, think it, was, I don't think it was released for the PlayStation. Hmm. But, um, this one's... The Dreamcast version is actually uh, different from the other ones because uh, you could actually upload your best track times, and I think you could 
He might have actually been able to race other players through the second net. Um, I don't think so. Uh, never mind. Uh, but yeah, pick this up for six bucks. I'm not gonna turn down a Star Wars game, especially one as great as this one for six bucks. Uh, well, just put all this stuff on the table real quick. Oh, there's a glare. Uh, well, um, this is what I picked up today. Uh, I have. I'm actually gonna go back down that way Saturday, so I might stop in again down there. Um, see you later, YouTube.